Hey guys, welcome to Muse Themes. I'm Steve Harris. We've been getting lots of requests from users to add commenting functionality to their website. As far as we're concerned, there's no better functionality or plugin out there to do this than Discuss. Discuss is a commenting and feedback system, and we've actually used Discuss on the Muse Themes website many times. If you look at the responsive design made easy landing page that we have here, at the very bottom we've got this big comments or questions section with almost 40 comments in there. That's all powered by Discuss, and it's a simple plugin that you can embed into a Muse site in just a matter of seconds. The way that Discuss works is you simply add it to the bottom of any website and users can post a comment without having to sign up for Discuss. So as I begin to post a comment, you'll see that on the bottom right it says or sign up with Discuss. And if I put my name in there, we can actually check this box that says I'd rather post as a guest. And then I can just enter an email and there you go. So my comment is posted. Now the comment has gone into moderation and that's where whoever owns the site and has embedded the Discuss plugin can moderate their comments and make sure they look good before they actually prove them to be on the site. So step one of using this widget is let's go ahead and sign up for Discuss and set up a new site. So now that I'm here on the Discuss homepage, the first thing I'll do of course is sign up for a new account. Okay, so now that I've got my Discuss account set up, it says, what do we want to do with it? Well, we want to install Discuss on our website. So once we click that, it asks us to create a new site. So I'm obviously the site owner here. So let's do our website name and we'll just go Muse Sample. And it asks for category. That doesn't really matter. Let's just go business. Now this website name is something we're going to actually enter into the panel in our widget. So just remember to use something kind of memorable there. So let's create the site. So now this page is asking us what platform we want to install this on. Well, obviously we're installing this in Muse and we can use our integration widget. So we can just skip this step and go to configure discuss here. And once we've done that, it gives us just some final setup options. So we have a color scheme we can select. So we can go automatic, which our widget does use, or you can specify you're using it on light or dark backgrounds. We can specify a typeface. So we just have sans serif or serif as options. Then we have again our website name. We can enter our website URL in here. So we could do something like the BC URL. I'm going to publish this to. Okay. And then just another description and some more info. But this all looks good to me. So I'm going to complete the setup. And we're ready to go. So we've got this community built. So the next thing that we'll need to do is add this into our Muse site. So let's jump over to Muse. Now that we're in Muse, let's open up our library panel, assuming you've downloaded the widget already, and let's drag the widget on onto the page. And you'll notice it's a really small panel. Let me shrink the widget down a little bit so you can see the panel. Okay, so the first thing we need to enter in the panel here is the Discuss short name. And if you remember from your site setup, what I did was Muse sample, just like that. And we hit enter. And now you'll notice that it gives you this error. It says unable to load discuss. We need to actually do the next step in the panel here to have it show up in our Muse site. So it says enter the discuss page URL. So the URL that I used was HTTP, and this is the business catalyst one, remember, musesample.businesscatalyst.com. So that's going to be your URL. You can put anything you want in there. It could be your site name, your client site, etc. So as you can see, once I put that in, the commenting system shows up here. Next thing we have is something called a page identifier. So the page identifier is actually optional. Uh, what it is, is it's a way for you to look up a thread within Discuss's system. We've never encountered anyone who needed to use it. So as far as I'm concerned, you can just leave this blank unless you're kind of a power user. So the last option we have is just the Discuss link color. That's all we were given as far as styling controls for this. But keep in mind, it's actually styled really nicely already. And we've used it so many times on the Muse theme site. Uh, here's a great example, obviously, on the responsive training page. And I doubt you ever noticed that we didn't style it beyond exactly what Discuss gave us. So it does work really, really well. So now that we've got that set up, let's just drag it out so it's a little wider. The widget is fully responsive. And let's preview it in the browser. And there you go. So you can see that the widget is loading perfectly. So the last thing it's asking is that we verify our email address. This was a brand new account. I'm going to do that right now. So there you can see that the widget loads really nicely in the browser. And if I scale the size down, it is fully responsive. It just shrinks along with the rest of our site. So this is a great commenting system. So let's go ahead and post a comment. So let's just say, this is a great widget. 
and I'm actually logged in. So it's telling me I can post as myself. I'm going to log out for a sec. So now that I'm logged out of my account, it asks me to sign up with Discuss. And you notice that post as a guest button is not down here. That's a setting you need to change on the Discuss backend as an administrator. You need to allow public comments. So let's go back into our Discuss dashboard. And of course, I've logged myself out here, so I'll have to log back in again. So once I log back into Discuss, we need to get back into the admin side of our site. And the easiest way I find to do that is to go up this little gear icon in the right and click admin. Once you do that, you're brought to a dashboard where you can actually click this drop down in the top left and you can see all the sites that you've added to your Discuss account. So right now I'm changing the settings for our Muse sample site that I just created. And so we need to go into the edit settings button right here on the right. And once I'm brought to the settings page, we need to click the community button on the left and we get all sorts of settings for controlling how comments are going to show up. So the main thing that you're going to look for is guest commenting, allow guests to comment and just turn that on. Once you do that, people can comment on it without needing a discuss account. You can also change some things like having to moderate all of the comments before they come in and sending you emails if new comments are posted. So let's just click save there. Okay, now that we've done that, let's jump back to the page that we had Discuss loaded on, which was this one. And I'm just going to reload it for a sec. So you can see my comments still there. And if I say let's post as Steve, I can click this. I'd rather post as a guest. And I'll add that in. And we add our post. So now you can see that my comment says it is awaiting moderation. And if you look at the moderator dashboard, it says we have one pending comment. Let's moderate the comments and under pending, we can just click approve and it'll be live on the site instantly. So that's how you set up the discuss widget. As you can see, there's more setup almost on the discuss side of it than there is in Muse, but it's a great little widget and we don't think there's anything better out there for adding comments and feedback to your website. Thanks again for watching. Best of luck with this widget. Cheers.